Okay, okay, so this is day one. So I have here a wide mouth jar that you can just get like from the dollar store um, or wherever they sell mason jars, but just make sure it's a wide mouth jar if you are gonna get these lids. For growing sprouts, you need these lids. I just got them off Amazon so that you can fully drain out all those sprouts. So those are the ones that I have here. So we're gonna try this out. And these just screw on to any wide mouth jar here like this. And so those are really easy to work with. And then I got a multi-pack of sprouts off Amazon. So these are mom sprouting seeds. So I'm gonna try growing a bunch of different ones, but these ones are the crimson lentils. I actually tried this once before, so I know that these ones work. There was another one in the package that had like arugula and radish and mustard or something. And I wouldn't recommend that one. For me, it didn't work out. It just ended up smelling really, really, really bad, like really foul. And it didn't sprout properly, even though I followed all the steps. So I'm gonna show you guys how to grow this one, highly recommend this one, and I'll show you how easy it is. And they are so delicious. I'm gonna show you how I grow these sprouts. Okay, so I've got my jar here and I'm ready to pour the seeds in. So I'm doing the crimson lentil seeds. So I'm just gonna cover the bottom of the jar in seeds, or I think on the package it says about, um, it says four tablespoons, but I don't think I put quite that much in, so I'm just gonna pour those in. Okay, so I've covered the bottom of the jar, so that's how many I'm gonna put in there. So you'll want to follow the package instructions, but for this one it says to soak for 6 to 12 hours, so I'm going to go ahead and just let those soak. Okay, so I've got these fully covered in water. I put quite a bit just to make sure that they're going to get fully soaked in there for up to 12 hours. Um, I did put the lid back on. You don't really have to at this point, not until you're ready to rinse them, but I just thought it was convenient. So I'm just gonna let those sit away from sunlight because they don't need any direct sunlight for 12 hours. I've been soaking for 12 hours. The water is a bit of a brown color, so I'm gonna dump the water off and I'm going to rinse them. <laughs> dark um, corner because these do not need any sunlight. I've just folded up a little tea towel to put underneath and then I am going to just place my seeds here and I'm going to rinse these twice daily. So day two and you can see they're already starting to sprout. I brought them into the light here so that you can see a little better. There's those tiny little sprouts that are starting to pop out. So that is already in 24 hours, these are starting to sprout. Okay, so it's day seven. I've been growing my sprouts for a week now. So I've got the jar here. You can see they're ready to go. On the package, it said five days, but honestly, I find mine have been ready in about seven days. So that's how long I've been growing them. So I've rinsed them off really well. What I usually do is just take like a little tea towel and kind of blot them dry before I store them if I'm not gonna be using them all right away because you can actually use these up pretty quickly. So I take them all out of the jar and they're usually pretty tangled up. I kind of like to detangle them a little bit. Um, so you can see how they're kind of all tangled in a ball, but you can kind of detangle them a little bit and get like how much you want to put on top of your soup or your sandwich or your salad or whatever you're putting them on. Um, you can put them in stir fries. You can actually cook them as well too. So if you're feeding them to little kids or anything like that, I have read that some people say that you can get sick from sprouts just like you can from romaine lettuce or whatever. 
Um, so if you're feeding them to little kids or anything like that, you may want to cook them just to be safe um, or just wash them really well. A couple signs that they've gone bad are if they're slimy or if they have a really bad smell. So you want to check for that too. Um, but for the most part, these are super delicious and healthy. And look, you have a whole jar in one week just from that like one little tablespoon of sprouts. And I've actually been growing another one here in this same time. I just haven't been recording it day by day. And this is the other one I've been growing. So it is ready as well. So you can kind of see the difference. You can grow so many different kinds of sprouts. So there you can see the difference between these mung bean sprouts and these ones here. Um, these ones are a spring salad mix, blend of broccoli, radish, alfalfa, and clove. So they came in that Amazon package that I ordered with all the different sprouts in it. Um, so that's the package there. These ones were really easy to grow as well and they taste so good. Like they do taste better than the ones in the store. You can actually taste the flavor. You can put it on top of like a tofu scramble or if you eat eggs, you can put it on top of your eggs, soup, salads, sandwiches. Anything that you're cooking, you can add it in and cook it in as well. Anytime you would add a green into anything. So I actually can't believe how easy it was to grow these sprouts. I'm gonna be doing this on a really regular basis because they're so nutrient dense. They're so healthy for you. Um, and next up, I'm gonna start trying to grow microgreens. We don't have a lot of natural light in our place. So we'll see, this is great because you don't need any natural light to grow these which is one of the reasons why I thought it was just so easy and so fun to grow them and so rewarding and they taste so good. So I hope you guys try it out. I hope you liked this video. And if you liked this video and you wanna see more videos like this one, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button below.